Okay guys, so I have been trying out this spiral bound dot grid notebook for my bullet journal lately and I gotta tell you guys it is amazing. So this is um, my bullet journal. You're gonna guys you guys are gonna get like a little bit of a flip through but also a um you know just a peek at how good this is and it's for the price is right it is I would say better than moleskine I think for a spiral bound it is even if it wasn't spiral bound it is better than Leuch term and it is cheaper guys okay cheaper and so we are about enjoying the cheaper life I'm telling you um, so this is my 2019 bullet journal I haven't really kept up with it it's kind of more than it's just collections mainly right now but um, I just put these little spikes on it. It's kind of very minimalist um, and I like it. Um, and I kind of put these like heartbeat spikes, but they didn't really work out too well. Um, and it says, live your extra life. And I don't know if you guys know Brad Mondo, but I love him. He is so funny. Um, and so I love that quote. And so I put that there. Um, and then if you open it up, it is a very clear frost front and um this is what it looks like and then inside here this is the overview and um this was used with a coletto pen the um oh, i can't remember the name of it right now but you guys all know what coletto pen i've shown it before um so this is the overview and um i got really sloppy and i didn't know what to do with my life so i just put little lines to keep it in the area in order so obviously I have my goals, gratitude, and notes, and you guys will see, like, there is a little bit of ghosting. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about ghosting, but there is, like, next to no, there's literally, like, almost no bleed through. I'm pretty sure there isn't, except for when I used um, a really thick uh, zebra pen that was a gel zebra, or zebra, however you say it. I say zebra, but, you know, I know that Americans usually say zebra, so, um... This is my events calendar and all of that. And then I also have my goals calendar and um, excuse some of my ridiculous language because I have a very foul mouth. Here's my gratitude. And this is, as you can see, it does have ghosting, but no bleed through. Uh, this is my apocalypse and all of that. This is more my apocalypse because I haven't gotten through it yet. This is my books that I want to read. Um, this is my show times. Now this right here was used with a micron brush pen and you can see it does not go anywhere through. I mean it is that's pretty interesting. Now the uh, grid is very uh, as you can see, the it's just like the tip of my finger up against it. It is kind of very noticeable, so it's not very light. And the color of this is an off-white. You guys can't really see the color all that great right now. Sorry about the lighting. Um, but it is definitely an off-white. Um, I mean, it looks white on this, but it's kind of an off-white. Um, but it's not too bad. It's Like I said, it's not ivory, but it's definitely an off-white color. Um, these are my show times, what I would like to watch, my little popcorn thing. I'm kind of proud of that because I really am crappy at doodling. Um, this is my take five, which, guys, I love Grey's Anatomy and I love their 30-second dance parties. And I found that super useful, I'm telling you. It is super, super useful. This is my daughter's birthday party checklist. Um, here's, like, some financial advice that I got from a friend. Um, so this is my May Habit Tracker. And I've never really used a Habit Tracker because I don't like them very much. I'm not very good at keeping up with them, as you can see. Um, and then this is my I Want to Learn collection. And, you know, obviously I'm using the Zebra Fine Liner. And then this is the Coletto Pen. And this is obviously, like, Coletto Pen still. And then this right here is the Micron with the Zebra Fine Liner 2. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it very minimalistic looking. These are songs to download. Um, this is what I call the fuck all list, um, which is basically like my cleaning list because I'm like, I'm so tired of everything. Um, okay, and then this is uh, the paper itself, and it is an A5. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to the back, and it does have perforated pages in the back of it, which is really nice. And um, so this right here is, oops, 
I did a little bit of a pen test. This is a Zebra Mind Liner, uh, Mild Liner. This is the Micron 01, um, and you guys already saw the Micron Brush Pen. I did not try using uh, any calligraphy in here because it was very uh, minimalist, and I also did not um, use a... Uh, use one of... What do you call those things? I'm sorry, a fountain pen. And um, I didn't use that because, like I said, I like to, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I like to use very, very colorful colors in my my thing. And so this, uh, just wanted to keep you guys updated and let you know how good it was. And this is my review. I think it is a 5 out of 5. I mean, and for the price, I mean, look at that, eleven ninety nine. Go on Amazon. It's by MD Trade. And just type in A5.Grid, and this will show up. And this is for two of them, it is $11.99 for Amazon Prime, and it's still $11.99, but I think you have to pay shipping and handling if you're not using Amazon Prime, but a lot of people love Amazon Prime, um, which by the way, not sponsored by Amazon Prime, I just love it, uh, or this book, or anything I'm using, uh, but yeah, so $11.99 for a two-pack of the A5s, so those of you guys who are trying to turn over a new leaf this year and try bullet journaling, and just go about your business in life. If you guys want to try that, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. Especially if you want to do it on a budget. I never used this product before, and then I saw it, and I was like, you know what? I'll try it. It's $11.99. If it's really bad, I'll just use it for something else. And you know what? It is really good. So, and the paper is super, super soft. Like, I'm surprised at how soft it is. Um, so everyone, this is what it looks like and it is very, very good. I mean, look at that. This is the frost cover and it does come with, by the way, it does come with, um, little holes so you can go ahead and put a, and it does have a little, like, um, like a little band that goes around it, but I didn't really like it. Uh, it's kind of bulky and icky, so I took it out. It's really easy to take it out because it's kind of just a T that goes in there. And uh, I took it out because I was like, that's too bulky. There's too much going on and it's kind of icky. So I took it off, but overall, this is, like I said, it's a five out of five, guys. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm gonna steal Brad Mondo's thing. And I'm telling you, you gotta live your extra life, man. It is a great idea, um, except uh, within reason, of course, because uh, spending thousands of dollars is not a good idea. And this year, I'm trying to spend less money. So um, I really love this. I love uh, everything that's in it. Um, you may not like Brad Mondo. I don't really care about, you know, any controversy or drama because I don't bother to keep myself involved in that. So if there is any, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys are offended by anything. I don't know anything about it. I just like watching his uh, reaction channels. So um, anyways, this is it. And I just wanted to let you guys know about it because it is a steal. And I'm sorry I haven't uploaded lately. I've just been kind of busy and I have a lot going on in life. So that's it. All right, guys, I will see you next time. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of books you use for your bullet journals. And how good they are. Um, and, you know, obviously the top tens are Moleskine and, like, Leuch Term and a bunch of things like that. Um, even the, like, some other brands that are, like, hardback. But what are, do you guys ever see Spiral ones? Is there anything you guys like to use like that? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to ring that bell because apparently YouTube is... Not letting anyone know when I upload. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Ring that bell. Go ahead and be sure to not be notified whenever I upload. In case you guys want to see some unboxings or reviews like this. Um, and like I said, have a great day. Bye-bye.